Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle and I am a full-time reseller on Poshmark and eBay. I've been selling off and on since 1999. I will leave my username in the description if you want to check out any of these items that I show or if you're interested in what reselling is, if you're new to it. If you're a reseller, please give me a thumbs up, share, comment, give me some love. And if you are a YouTuber as well, I really do not mind if you share your reselling closet on my channel so I could check you out. So today I'm doing a 27 piece haul. It's stuff that I thrifted in the past week. I have one hard good, which is a Yankee candle. Yankee candles, the older ones that they no longer make the scents, they sell extraordinarily well on eBay. And when I say extraordinary well, this candle around the holidays um, sells for several hundred dollars. I remember when I first started um, finding Yankee candles, there was like a sunflower one that also sold for a couple hundred. Um, so yeah, discontinued scents. This is the Happy Halloween one, black licorice, licorice fragrance, and it looks like it was born maybe born. It was burned maybe once, and it smells exactly like black licorice, which I don't like, but I do like the smell of it. But I'm going to wait and list this probably in August to get prime dollar for um, for Halloween. And I think they used to retail for twenty four ninety five when it was uh, bought new. So that's the first thing I found. I was very excited and I paid only $3. So I'm probably listing that for, I'm going to probably just go ahead and list it for like $150 and send offers. Okay, so now is the shoes. This is the first time finding Hey Dudes, which are just bread and butter, as you know. Um, I don't have any experience with Hey Dudes. I know they're super popular right now. Uh, people, um, you know, Crocs. Hey dudes, I feel like if you're com if you wear Crocs, I feel like you wear Hey dudes. Um, I do not wear either, no particular reason. But I do remember a podiatrist telling me that Hey dudes came out and they when they first came out and said that they were one of the worst pairs or brands for your feet, and that's always stuck with me. They do look like they have a little arch support. I don't know why they're bad, but that's what he told me. So I have those and they are pink ladies size 10 if you are a size 10. Next I have two pairs of Cole Haan. Cole Haan is a very good expensive brand shoe. These are women's. These are also I believe size 10. This is what the label looks like. Um, not all, all Cole Haan's are created equally so you do have to uh, pull comps. These are 100% leather and they are Excellent, excellent used condition. They are a leather croc, um, crocodile kind of pattern, not real crocodile. And they are a size, let's see, they're a size 10 and a half, ladies. And then moving right along, I also found these men's horse bit, kind of a Gucci dupe of Cole Haan's. And these are in beautiful, beautiful condition. Look at that, driving mocks. And they are huge. <laughs> Um, and they are a size 16, men's size 16. Um, and so they would be a women's size, it's one size down, I believe. So if you're a woman and you're like a size 15 and you like them, they would work for you. And then the same with the women's size 10. Uh, I think it would be like an eight and a half, eight and a half man's. Okay, next is some genuine suede leather, and these are, let's see, I forgot the brand already, oh my goodness, let's see, they are Steve Madden, Steve Madden, and again, Steve Madden is all, uh, Steve Madden shoes are not all created um, equally, Steve Madden uses, uh, makes a lot of dupe shoes, like um, the Hermes Orin slides that are like $800. They have a, um, Steve Madden has a dupe, but I think they're like 89. So I'm not sure what these are a dupe, but I'm pretty sure that Steve, Mar Steve Martin, Steve Madden sells dupes, but these are a great little ankle booty and they are genuine suede, which is why I bought them. If you're going to pick up Steve Madden at all, make sure it is genuine leather, because if you get the pleather, not leather, you are going to sit on them from my experience. Of course, if you have experience selling them, let me know. Okay, Wacol Bra, like new, part of their breast cancer awareness, and they are, it's a 36 triple D, or is it triple D? 36 double D, ladies, 36 double D. Wacol is just a really, really good underwire, comfortable bra that holds its shape, that washes and wears well, and it's, 
it's just a really good quality bra. So that's the only bra I found. Now next I found a 100% polyester vintage Newport News. If you are an 80s baby, you might remember your mom or grandma or someone shopping at Newport News. My mom certainly did. And this is a full length, modest, no slip, fully lined, um, no slit, did I say slip? Size 18 plus size long floor length, which I'm gonna say is, gosh, maybe 48 inches in length. I just sold um, a size six black dress for $90 by Newport News last night. So Newport News is vintage and people, it, people like it, so I would pick it up, Newport News. And this is size 18 and the one that I sold was a long black dress, size six, $90. So people are buying skirts right now. Um, this, so I picked up a bunch of plus size skirts the other day and this, this one is, this one is new with tags and it's by Coldwater Creek. Um, I'm not sure if they went out of business, but I know it has a cult following. Maybe you could just buy them online now, but this is a plus size patchwork. Um, no slits. Mm, it is lined, so it's not see-through. Um, and it is a three X by Coldwater Creek. That's what it looks like. And what is the fabric? Size 3X, which is a size 24 wide slash 26. And the fabric is 100% rayon. 100% rayon on the outside for the patchwork and 100% rayon for the um, underneath the slip. So that is really nice. Moving right along with that, I have a Her brand, which I think is just boutique. I've bought this brand before. It's called Her Destiny, and it's a size 1X. And it is, again, maxi length, full length. And it has this little tie here, elastic waist pull on, and then like a little tie in case you wanted to, I would say, tuck in. Any of this color tank or blouse would work for this nice, stylish, tropical print, cruisy type skirt. I like it myself, but I do not need it. So it's a circle A-line flare, like a full, a full 186 um, inch circle. And that is a size 1X by Her Destiny. Alrighty, next is a, I thought it was Chico's Travelers because recently I just sold, this fabric is like very stretchy and I just sold a tank, the same exact color and it was by Chico's though. So this is a Cold Water Creek, size 3X plus size, pull on and go, very stretchy. I'm gonna say you could stretch that waist to a 70 inch. And there's no slit, full circle bottom as shown and it is blue, true blue. All right, so now I have a soft surroundings, size 1X, soft surroundings. Ooh, show you that tag there. There we go, soft surroundings, 1X. And it is a linen, it has a cute little zipper in the back. Um, it is functioning, I don't know what you'd wanna hide back there, maybe a lipstick. <laughs> um, but it's a full tunic, linen, plaid, blue and white, button up, very simple and soft surroundings is a good brand to pick up as long as it's not super old so oh yeah that's good all right next is a plus size swimsuit swimsuits are still selling good and this is by Catherine's. very well made probably about 150 new and it is a size that's what it looks like Catherine's, and it is a size again 24 24 like new when you are picking up swimsuits um, make sure they're like, if, if it's an underwire, this one isn't, make sure the wires aren't bulging out. Uh, make sure if it is an underwire swimsuit, it has its underwire. And also, TMI, I know, but you've got to check the crotch area, which I will not show on film, but I did and I washed them anyway. So, but you want to check the crotch because sometimes, sometimes you don't want to pick them up. Let's just say that. <laughs> so this is a beautiful color. It's blue with pink flowers and it's a size 24. Very, very pretty swim dress. Next is a poplin. That fabric always gets me. So it's by Zara, and I'm not sure if it's a blogger favorite. If it's a blogger favorite, you will get more for your pieces, whatever brand they are. But this is a Zara size small, and it's a poplin little baby doll dress, which is adorable, adorable, adorable. Um, it's probably only about 28 inches long. It's um, you know pretty short for a dress. Uh, pull on, button up, and it has that elastic that cinches the waist but it is long sleeves and it is just a cutie pie, cutie, cutie dress, so cute. Basic black Zara piece, uh, keeping it black. I have these black pull-on by Cutloose. 
this is a brand that um that sells well for me and this is a brand that i've mentioned before that my daughter picks if she if she picks it up she can't sell it if i pick it up then i sell it and i have so many brands like that i can't sell so i usually give them to her and when we were thrifting last week she found these size large cut loose pull on and go and they are like a crop length and they are linen linen black all right next is a garnet hill garnet hill went out of business and so a lot of people go to the secondhand market to find them if they love garnet hill has a cult following and this is a size 14 wool garnet hill cape okay great for winter and look at check out that heavy duty like heavy duty like heavy duty like dog collar and it is a full length wool Oh, it's not a cape. Okay, so it's kind of like a jacket and it is long sleeves. It has sleeves, which is good. And this unhooks like that. There we go. Let's just try her on and it is not my size. I am not a 14, I'm a size 16, so it is tight in the sleeves. So, and then I guess it goes like this. <sighs> I feel like a potato. All right, so that's how that looks. And it is lined, there we go. And it's purple stripe with some blue, that's the, um, the pattern. And I already said it is wool. Okay, I have one pair of jeans and they are Abercrombie & Fitch, the Curve Love, okay? So Abercrombie & Fitch jeans do still sell, but they've gotta be the new label like this. And the Curve Love sells the best. And when I say sells the best, I should probably get about $35, $40 for them. They probably retail for about $80. And they are a size 26, which is a size 2. Alrighty. And next, I have an American Eagle size extra large V-neck cardigan in this beautiful, beautiful, like gray sage type color. It has green undertones. And I love this. I do not need it, but I really do love it. Um, and it has uh, one, two, three, four, five buttons, extremely soft, kind of feels like Barefoot Dreams. And let's see, oh my goodness, it's 100% nylon. I thought there would have been a natural, uh, a natural fabric in there, how soft it is. But again, that's what she looks like. All right, uh, next I found this vintage dress, size 14. It is gorgeous. I mean, look at this, it's so elegant. Kind of uh, reminds me of something like, I always say Melanie Griffith from Working Girls. I think that was an 80s movie something that maybe she would wear in the office in the 80s and it is 100 silk it is fully lined and it's a red paisley spaghetti strap underneath like this spaghetti strap sheer um but obviously you could wear a bra with it and this is what the tag looks like and it was a new to me brand called enrico Gelini. Gelini. let's see what it looks like and it's a size 14 but keep in mind it's vintage so i'm gonna say that's maybe a 12 and i will just put the measurements in the um, description very be beautiful beautiful all right next i'm not going to bore you with each pair but it's six pairs of soft surroundings um beige cargo pants i will show you one pair i found six and the fabric i mean soft surroundings they have their a game on i mean the fabric's so nice hence why they probably cost you know maybe 80 1x soft surroundings I, I have six pairs of them look at that I would have loved to have had those back in the day um, they would be a little bit too big now but I would have definitely <laughs> I probably would have been keeping them they're so cool so they are cargo for your phone keys whatever they have a slight cuff uh, modest inseam of maybe eight six to eight inches and I have six pairs I'm going to get those listed later today all right, a few more pieces. I have this lovely crinkling, crinkle, crinkle. Let's look at that. See, accordion style, navy blue with like a, a tiny gold um, floral maybe. There's the gold. Yeah, or stars maybe. So it's very mystical looking and it's drawstring. Um, I usually call these broomstick skirts. Um, no tag. <laughs> No tag, but I'm looking at it. I think it would work from a 1X to a 3X. No pockets. Pull on and go, crinkle line. No scandalous slit, which is very hard um, if, today, finding skirts without a slit because they all have slits. So if you are looking for a modest skirt, wash and wear, 
crinkly pull on and go i really love this a lot i do not need it um this skirt is for you all right so the last two pieces here again something that i like but i'm not going to keep and it's a talbot it's very very pretty uh bl very buttery soft black and white talbots xl um cardigan and it looks freshly it looks new without tags it's very clean there's no wrinkles De attention to detail look at those buttons white enamel with a gold trim so beautiful they put a lot of attention uh, to detail in it and it is 60% cotton 40% rayon and if you look and Talbot's the newer pieces date their pieces so you see um, how current the style is so this is from March 2021 lovely beautiful condition again just the attention to detail just beautiful I, I really like it um, you would wear a little tank underneath. You'd probably put a black tank underneath and you would put either blue jeans or black denim jeans. Uh, it's not a true white. It's like a cream color. So I'm not sure if you'd want white, de white denim, but I guess cream trousers also would look really good with some loafers. Very preppy look. All right. And lastly, I'm going to throw this in. I never pick up damp skin. Uh, I picked it up for myself. Okay. But it was just too sloppy looking on me. And it is, let's see. XXL Dance Skin Now and Dance Skin Now is Walmart's athletic brand. And nothing wrong with it. I love the color. I love the style. It just feels a little too oversized for the way I like my workout clothes to fit. And so this I'll probably just put up for like $15. So there you have it, all 27 pieces. And I'm just excited again. Every now and again, if you are a reseller, you know you kind of get on a funk where you either love to shop or you hate to shop. And um, yeah, I've just been kind of in the funk regarding it now. And then doing videos, you know, and stuff like that. I'd rather be making videos for you guys, but I need stuff to make videos. So there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Please subscribe if you haven't already done so. Head to my description to look, check out my closets. Just window shop, just for the fun of it even. You don't have to buy anything, just window shop. Um, I have a buy one, get one free jewelry sale going on right now. Buy a piece of jewelry for 15, get a piece free. And all you do is you bundle them all, put them in the cart, and I will send you a offer. Keep in mind, if you like anything in my Poshmark closet and heart it, which is their like, um, my Posher VA virtual assistant automatically sends you a discount on single items. That includes jewelry, which does get confusing for people. So if you are interested in buying a buy one, get one free piece of jewelry, and you like a piece and you're getting individual offers, know that that is not me doing it. That is my virtual assistant. And you just decline them and tell me you want to partake in the sale and I will send you that offer. Again, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye-bye.